Now, her recent weight loss has been the subject of much media speculation, but there's no quick fix behind Vanessa Fultz's slimmer physique. And, in fact, her three-stone weight loss has been the result of an agonising and, at times, debilitating battle with her gastric band. And following a worrying time in intensive care, Vanessa joins us now to talk about it all for the very first time. Vanessa Fuzzy, were you expecting to come in and talk about this today? No. Is this something you even want to be discussing? No, but I'd rather tell the truth than not. I mean, I'd rather just, just be open about it, cos I've got nothing at all to hide. Because so, the speculation, I mean, it's uh, this fascination that people have with women's bodies and women's weight. So true. I mean, and, 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 and as Dawn French once said to me, you never get it right. Mm. Either you're haggard, you're over thin, yeah. dramatic weight loss, or as has been said about me in the past, you're drinking custard, your friends are worried, you're so fat it's appalling and intolerable. You never do yeah. seem to get it right. So what's and, happened this time? Well, what happened was I did come on this morning and talk to you about the gastric band That's that right. I had fitted in 2010. And when I had it fitted, I, I, I was told it was... Pretty, it was reversible, it was fairly simple, they just clip a band on and if you get fed up with it, they take it out. And it turned out to be much more complicated than that, as I said to you at the time. Yeah. And it turned out that it had slipped and um, I, I was having this horrible symptom where I was waking up in the morning, uh, being woken up by, and feeling as if I was drowning. My, 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 my whole throat, eyes, nose, ears seemed to be full of liquid. And so the valve that was meant to be stopping the liquid that you've drunk coming up again wasn't yeah. working. It was all quite horrible and yeah. quite unexpected. Um, and, and do you remember when I came on, you booked a delight surgeon to come on with me and explain about yes. it. Yes, right. And his name is Shaw Summers. I'd never met him before, and I met him right here on this very That's right. sofa. And, and after I'd, I'd finished talking to you about the gastro, and he, remember, he said, this happens to one in five people, which I certainly hadn't been told no, and didn't know no. about. And, in fact, I read, you know, your lovely Mrs Hinch, who does the cleaning? Yes. I think the same thing happened to her, I read this weekend, that she had a gastric band that slipped and she had to have it removed and it was all pretty horrible and hairy for right, her. Right, right. So, anyway, I, I, on the way out of the studio... Um, this, this lovely surgeon, who I'd only met here for the first time, said to me, well, you're definitely going to have to have that gastric band removed. And I said, well, I, I do realise I am going to have to. And he said, and you know what will happen very probably, he said, is that when it comes out, you know, you'll start eating again and you'll put the weight on again because you are a lifelong yo-yo dieter. And right. I, unfortunately, I am. It's true. I can keep it off for a certain time with great difficulty, mm really dieting ferociously, exercising, and then there always comes that moment where I just have just a piece stop. of pie, you know? And then it all goes... And did that worry you? Did that kind of make you think, actually, I just don't want that to happen? Well, yes, and I said, I said, do you think it's inevitable? And he said, unfortunately, I really do. You know, I'm, let, let's face it, I'm 57, I've got a lifetime pattern of this. And he said, I think what will happen is that you will, unfortunately, put the weight back on. So what he, was his alternative? He said, or you could have, at the same time as this um, gastric band is removed, you could have a gastric bypass. And I I said, oh, God, I don't want one of those. No way! What that... is the difference, then? Well, one's a gastric band, which is meant to be just a ring that clips around the top of your tummy and makes it smaller. Yeah. And a gastric bypass is a proper operation where they wait, where, where when the food goes in, you bypass a part of the stomach and part of the um, bowel, and it all just goes sloshing through much more quickly. And also, it's meant to change your metabolism and it's meant to change your attitude to food. But it sounded so dramatic. Yeah, and does. I said, oh, no, I'm not thinking of having that. And he said, well, fine, absolutely up to you. He said, the only th problem is that what What's likely to happen is you might just put on an awful lot of weight and then in a few years' time, when you've had enough of that, you're older and much fatter, then you might say, oh, now can I please have a gastric bypass? He said, are you sure you don't want to at least consider having the two things done simultaneously? Mm. So a lot to think about, really. I know. Which is what you did. I know. And then... Come January... I thought, well, OK, then, let's, let's go do for it. it. Yes, and I was feeling you know, the symptoms from the gastric band were getting worse and worse. It was really quite urgent to have it taken out. Mm. And I thought, well... OK, let's, let's go for both of them. But the yeah. operation wasn't as simple as you'd hoped it would be. Well, that was mostly because once he got inside, it turned out that the gastric band had been thoroughly... I know this sounds disgusting, forgive me, embedded in the liver, my right. liver, and it all had to be very carefully dissected out. That took some time. It had also caused a hiatus hernia, which had to be repaired. This, uh, you were in intensive care a long time. This scared the living daylights out of your family. Yeah, Ben and my daughter Saskia went careering into the hospital saying, well, where's Mum? Because I think I went down to the theatre about 8.30 and I didn't come out till after one o'clock in the afternoon. Right. And they were really, really concerned. Were. Um, but, but fortunately, it, he was able to you know, get the gastric band out and he was able to do the bypass all in one operation. Um, and I came round in intensive care and I felt pretty much the worst for wear. I've got to say, I didn't feel great. And I, I was expecting to just do my normal bouncing back and I was waiting to bounce and I didn't feel very bouncy for, for, for quite some Sometime. time. But I came back to work after a week. 
Well, um, you I was here, on the, on the, you know, whizzing over here on the back of a motorbike. So how are you feeling now? What, what difference has it made? I mean, presumably it stopped all the... when you fall asleep and all the liquid and oh, the yeah. drowning thing. I mean, that's finished, that's, that's gone. That's gone, and any sort of reflux, any kind of discomfort, that's completely gone from that moment. That I mean, we can finished. see one side effect of it is that you've lost weight. Well, and I've, that... lost, I've lost just under three stone, right. so I'm absolutely loving that. Yeah. Um, and what I've experienced is just feeling a bit less interested in food. I don't mean I never want to eat any food, it's not like that, but I'm not thinking, oh, what could I have now, now what could I have, give me mm. something to eat. Don't feel like that. But, but it's put you in a fantastic place, you look amazing. You do. Um, but you, but you say in, your, in, your, in yourself, you're yeah. disappointed that you had to go that far. I, I feel like I don't want to come on television and say, look what I did, isn't it great? Because that's not really how I feel. I feel like, what a shame. I couldn't just do what you do and you do and virtually everyone watching does, which is just control it. I feel like, why couldn't I mm. say no to a, a piece of cake? And why couldn't I say no to the ice cream? Just why not? And I, I never was able really to get to the bottom of it. And I, you know, I had a bit of counselling a bit of therapy over the years and, and I, it's been my downfall it's been my problem and a, and a perennial problem you yeah. know and I hope that the gastric band would have knocked it on the head and just dealt with it and somehow it just didn't yeah. well you, as you pointed out problems. yourself there, there is a dark side to gastric bands which you didn't know which about. I hadn't known and and it, it doesn't mean that everyone who has one will have trouble but one in five people apparently will have which trouble, is an awful lot actually. which is an awful lot yeah. and so I'm pleased I feel when people say to me oh you look so slim and first of all I think well I was always the same person bigger or smaller don't like me more because of this, because that's not right. You must, you know, treat everyone the same. I don't change on the inside at all. And also, I think, I feel like I didn't conquer it. You know, I wasn't able, mm. a, a, apart from in short bursts, you know, mm. for a year or maybe a year and a half, to really deal with it, and then I would always revert to... to, to, to obviously Can you cheat too this? Much. This, I, this, I don't think you can cheat, no, because once you're full, you really are full, and you just have to... So you don't feel like eating anymore. You, 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 you wouldn't want to carry on. It's the kind of feeling of just such fullness. Do you miss, do you miss just being able to eat, though? I mean, is that part of you that just goes, oh, I'm, you know... I'm quite relieved. Really? I'm quite relieved that, that it doesn't appear to be the issue it was. That's I'm quite It's not that I don't fancy food, I do, but I but I once I've had a bit of it, I've had enough of it. When you it. said before on here that Ben likes a Ben likes a curvy well, lady. Then I have you to know, worry, what? don't I? He might run off. But he's pleased and he's a fashionista, whatever the male equivalent of that is. Loves clothes, he really yeah. does. And you know he can be posing and preening in his outfits before he goes out. And I was always so glad to find something that fit. I just shoved it on and rushed out the door. <laughs> now I'm like, oh, do you like this jacket? What do you think of this? He's doing the same thing with like a right couple of peacocks, so honestly. It's nice. Yes, it is nice. I mean, I, I yeah, I just want to live long and enjoy my grandkids. That's yeah, what I really of course, want. All the important things. Yeah, and, and so what would you say? I mean, if anybody's sort of considering a gast gastric surgery of, of any sort. What yes. advice do you have? I would say I would say consider it very carefully. Don't plunge into it. I would say you know you get the best possible uh, NHS surgeon that you can find, uh, recommended by your GP, and mm. and then I would I would say look into it. But I uh, am I pleased I've had it done. I certainly feel feel great, right. and I'm very relieved. And so far. So far, I haven't seen a downside at all, I, I, I can say. But I only had it done in January and, you know, but I, I feel good and, 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 you know, I feel a bit embarrassed when people say, well done, because I feel like it wasn't me, it was the surgeon, Shaw Summers, it wasn't me that did it, was it mm. really? But I also feel, you know, I'll take any compliments I can get at my age, I'm pleased. Yeah. Thank you, Vanessa. All right, well, thank, <laughs> thank you, you for coming much. in. Now, let's you. hope that stops all the chatter about it now as well. Thanks, Vanessa.